This is an interesting circuit. This has a two-stage amplifier. It's got a voltage gain stage here in Q1, stage one, and stage two is a current gain device to so that we can increase the voltage of the input with stage one and then increase the amount of current that you put out. The uh, common uh, emitter amplifier, which is this one, stage one, is usually not very good at putting out a lot of current. Um, we're going to assume some things since we've done this circuit so many times is 10k, 2.2k, 3.6k. Uh, the 680, uh, the amount of emitter current is 1.618 milliamps. Um, our prime E is equal to 25 millivolts divided by um, 1.618 milliamps. That comes up. That comes up to about 15.5 ohms. Not really a whole lot. Uh, let's consider uh, the voltage here since it determines the voltage here. So let's find the voltage at this spot right here. And that would be 10 volts minus. Um, 3.6 K ohm times 1.618 milliamps. That comes out to 4.176 volts. So if I have 4.176 volts here, then the voltage at the base here would be 4.176 volts minus 0.7 volts. 3.476 volts. Current through RL for that Q is equal to the 3.476 volts divided by 270 ohms, 12.875 milliamps. So our prime E two is equal to one point nine four one ohms. We need to find out, uh, in order to find voltage gain, we, voltage gain is equal to little rc over r prime e1 plus re, which is just this here. Um, r prime e1 is 15.454 ohms, re is 680 ohms. And this RC, let's see, RC1 is 3.6 K ohms in parallel with this route here. So um, beta of 2 times R prime E2 plus RL. RC1 is equal to 3.6 K ohms, this one, in parallel with beta 2, this circuit here. 
our prime E1, which was 1.941 ohm plus our load, which is 270 ohms, that came up to 3.179 K ohms. So if we fill out this formula here, or C over R prime E plus R E, we end up with 3.179 K ohm over um, Let's see, that's 695.5 ohms. And that's equal to, get my calculator out. So AB for the first one is 4.571. Um, AV for the second one is, so oh gosh, we have V out over V in. And out is ILRL, and in is the same current, IL or IE times R prime E plus RL. Um, plus the one. So AV for the second stage is less than one. It comes out to 0.992. The next thing that we should look at is what's the minimum amount of resistance that we can actually put here and get maximum power transfer. Let's see, looking back through from RL, it sees R prime E2, it sees uh, this way, looks like some of the circuit has disappeared, but we have the transistor right here, we're looking at, from the collector, we're only looking at this 3.6 ohms, or 3.6 K ohms. So we have 3.6 K ohms to ground, and that's basically it. So looking at this way, uh, anything past a transistor that way is divided by beta. So we have R prime E plus 3.6 K ohms divided by 100. That's R prime E uh, 2. So that's 1.941 ohms plus 36 ohms, 37.941 ohms. So minimum RL could be as low as 37, yeah, 38 ohms. You notice we're doing the quick and dirty method when we put these all together. Uh, mainly because of the uh, amount of time it takes to get one of these circuits done. And the, now, and the error in a two-stage amp here is not that great. Um, you start getting more, error, more stages onto an amplifier and the error can get pretty large. So, but at this point we just do the uh, uh, quick and dirty method.